Ever pondered the intricate workings of different clustering algorithms, how they group data points based on similarity? Today, we delve into the fascinating world of machine learning, specifically focusing on two popular clustering algorithms, k-means and hierarchical clustering. K-means clustering, a centroid-based algorithm, partitions data into k distinct non-overlapping subgroups. This method identifies k number of centroids and each data point is associated with the nearest centroid. The algorithm iterates until the centroids no longer move, quite a nifty process, wouldn't you say? On the other hand, hierarchical clustering, an agglomerative approach, creates a tree of clusters. This technique starts by treating each data point as a single cluster and then merges the closest pairs of clusters together, step by step, until only one cluster remains. Imagine a family tree, but for data points, it's a rather captivating method. Now you might ask, how do these two algorithms compare? Both k-means and hierarchical clustering aim to group similar data points together. They both require a measure of distance or similarity to compare data points. However, their approach to achieving this goal is quite different. K-means is more suitable for large data sets due to its efficiency and speed. It's like the hare in the classic fable, always eager to reach the finish line. However, the number of clusters K must be defined in advance and the final result depends heavily on the initial selection of centroids. Hierarchical clustering, on the other hand, is the tortoise of the race. It is more computationally intensive and slower, making it less suitable for large datasets. But it doesn't require a predefined number of clusters and provides a nice dendrogram, a tree-like diagram, that can help with the interpretation of the results. In essence, k-means and hierarchical clustering are two sides of the same coin. They both have their strengths and weaknesses, their quirks and features. Choosing between them depends on the nature of your data set and the specific needs of your project. To sum up, we've explored the captivating world of machine learning and clustering algorithms. We've seen how k-means, a centroid-based algorithm, races through large data sets while hierarchical clustering, an agglomerative approach, takes its time to build a tree of clusters. Each has its unique advantages and challenges, making them suitable for different scenarios. So whether you're analyzing customer behavior, genetic data, or social media trends, remember there's a clustering algorithm ready to help you make sense of your data. And with that, we conclude our fascinating journey into the realm of clustering algorithms. Remember, in the world of machine learning, there's always something new to learn, always a new frontier to explore. Until next time, keep discovering, keep learning, and most importantly, keep clustering.